Hey guys, Eric here to talk about the big Supergirl episode that was the crossover with The Flash, World's Finest. I am gonna go into full spoilers, so this is for people who have seen the episode. All right, still with me? Uh, I love this episode. I think it was everything people wanted it to be. I mean, once they announced it, I think the real uh, anticipation was seeing the two characters together and frankly seeing the two actors together because Grant Gustin and uh, Melissa Benoist, uh, they are so charming and so likable and it felt like that would be a great energy to have together. And it was. Uh, they did not, you know, they were on Glee at the same time, but they didn't really have scenes together. But here, you know, it just, it was, it worked so well. The chemistry was there. They only had Grant Gustin for a few days, and so they had to kind of get to it with the story, but that worked. The fact that these two just clicked, uh, they were kindred spirits. They're sort of, they brought out the exuberant joyfulness in each other. It was just, it was so fun to watch them uh, banter and the way that Barry got to tell everyone, uh, Jimmy and Wynn got to explain the multiverse to them and sort of use the skills he had that he was now the elder super uh, superhero, you know, kind of like Oliver Queen was to him. Now he could give her, uh, you know, Supergirl and her team some pointers because he'd been doing this longer. Uh, it just, it was just fun start to finish. Now, everything in the episode didn't work. Uh, while I did think Livewire and Silver Banshee were a cool duo to have fight them and a, you know, formidable duo, Silver Banshee's look, it was, you know, it was partially comics accurate but partially goofy on screen. It was kind of hard to believe Siobhan's like, yeah, sure, I'll cover my face in this makeup and put on a wig. Uh, so I didn't, qu and contacts, that was the big one that I was like, I don't know if she'd go that far. Uh, but still, I thought the two of them working together was really cool. The other part uh, that was, eh, was when uh, everyone helped Supergirl at the end. Endearing, yet also very cheesy. It kind of evoked a similar moment in the first Raimi Spider-Man movie, the, uh, you know, if you attack Spider-Man, you're attacking all of us. That's not an exact quote. Uh, you know, it, it, I got the idea, but it was kind of silly seeing it actually happen. But really, what worked start to finish again was Supergirl and The Flash. And I think it's hard to not watch this and want to see more crossovers to hope that maybe now Kara can go over to The Flash at some point and maybe more of the characters can meet. That would be great. Uh, you know, and I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna bring on some fanboy wrath maybe. Um, coming off of Batman versus Superman, which I found very disappointing and not because it was dark. Dark can be awesome. I just thought this movie wasn't awesome. This was such a uh, better and more uh, satisfying depiction of two classic DC heroes teaming up. It was kind of jarring to watch them, you know, back to, I saw them back to back days. And it was kind of amazing to see the difference in it. Uh, so I loved the Supergirl Flash crossover and would love to see more of these characters meet up. What did you think? Let us know in the comments. And for plenty more on the Flash, Supergirl, and many, many other DC comic TV shows, keep it here at IGN.